Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this wood hanger from Dollar Tree and this cute stencil from Amazon. I placed down the stencil on the wood round and marked off where those two sections kind of separate. Put my square on those markings and made a line because I'll be painting it two different colors. One of the sections, the larger section, I used this gel stain in the color walnut that I got from Hobby Lobby brushed it on and I wanted the color a little bit darker so I just brushed it on completely. If you want it lighter you can use a BB wipe to blend it. Once I had that completely covered I used my heating tool to dry it. And then I also took that same gel stain and used it to completely cover the back but the back side I did use a wipe to blend it. And after that was completely dry, I put painter's tape on that gel stain where that ended and then took black chalk paint by Folk Art and painted that other half of the hanger. And that I just did one coat. Next, I took my stencil and flipped it upside down, took this pixie spray, which is a repositional spray, sprayed it on the back, let it dry for about a minute, and then placed it down on my wood round. Just trying to make sure to get those lines right for the different colors. Placed it down and it just stays stuck on there and helps prevent bleeding through on your paint. I used a little sponge and sponged on white acrylic paint Still making sure not to get too much paint on the sponge at once. Once I had that covered, it removes really easy. And then I made sure it was completely dry and filled in all the gaps left by the stencil on the lettering. Next, I'm making a messy bow. I took two and a half inch wide ribbon and cut it in half. And then this one and a half inch ribbon, I just cut strips. And I took the different pieces and pinched them in the center and then kind of crisscrossed them in my hands, holding them nice and tight. Just alternating the patterns. Added in some white raffia that I got from Amazon as well. And then just kept crisscrossing the ribbons back and forth adding in some of the raffia at the end again. And then taking some twine and wrapping it around the center, keeping it nice and tight. Just making a couple knots and then cutting off the excess. Then I trimmed up some of the raffia and the ribbons and then kind of just pulled the ribbons apart and separating them, making it nice and full and kind of pulling them forward. And then I added back in my hanger and hot glued the bow, keeping it over to the left to not cover the lettering. And that's it. Super cute, quick and easy.